it's time for math again. And I know what you're thinking. Mrs. Strimke, you had on that outfit yesterday for math too. I am doing more than one video in one day. I am so excited. So here we go. We're continuing with what we did yesterday. Anyway, it's pretty much the same thing. We're going to do the warm up today because it's kind of what we did yesterday and it's important. All right, find four plus three. Draw lines and count. So see, they drew that line down there to hook the four together. So you have four and then the three more. So you'd have four, five, six, seven. That's right. So four plus three equals seven. You got this. Here we go. Oh, it's a word problem. You guys had these yesterday and you did just fine. Six blocks are yellow. Two blocks are red. How many blocks in all? Oh, but then they add a question. How do you know? So we got to do some thinking today. Put on those thinking caps. Here we go. Okay, what is this problem about? Blocks. And we're trying to figure out how many, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. It says what information is important? The color. Because we've got two different colors. And you know what? My train cubes are green and yellow, so I would rather match if I can. I don't have cube or blocks that match that, but I do have counters that match that color. But since they're red and yellow, I know some of you don't have red and yellow, I'm going to use those. So it says six blocks are yellow, so I put three yellow or six yellow counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I need two what color? One, two, red. Okay, so this is how I'm going to work on figuring out this problem. It says, counting on can help by, well, it's a little bit faster, isn't it? If I start right here and go six, seven, eight, it's faster than going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I'm counting on and putting a number in my head, if I need to use my fingers, I might run out of fingers. When we did the dice, we some people had six plus six. So if you put six in your head and six on your hands, then you could count six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. But I don't have twelve fingers. So counting will let you count a little bit higher if you need to use your fingers. All right, so there it asks. Let's compare strategies. Um, so if you did it, maybe you stopped the video or maybe you have something else in front of you. Did anybody draw the blocks? I do have some colored uh, dry erase markers up here. I could have drawn six yellow blocks and two red blocks. That would have worked. I could have used my train blocks and pretended that uh, the, I could pretend that the green ones are yellow. I could have done that. What else could I do? I could use my fingers. I could use my parents' fingers. I could use my little sister's fingers. She might not like that. She probably wouldn't hold still for me. Uh, look what they did. Did you do it like that? Complete the addition equation. So they did show us six, seven, eight. Oh, that's the way I did it. All right. I didn't have the train cubes like they did, though, to have the right colors. Let's see. Did we model it the same way? Pretty much. Is it different? Well, I use counters, not train cubes. How is your way different? All right. Now it's time to do your work. Look, this one's a lot like the one we just did, except instead of adding two red blocks, you add three red blocks. Hmm. Oh. Oh, we better discuss this one. Take a look at that. See how they counted on? Oh, I think they did it wrong. Let's check it out. So they put all those, that big line underneath all the yellow ones and they counted one. And then they went down to the red ones and they counted two, three, four. Is that right? They forgot to put that number in their head, didn't they? Oh no. No, 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 you don't start with two when you put a number in your head. 
Oops. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my counters here. It should have said six right there under this where it says one. They should have put six, right? And then here under the red block, it should say seven, eight, nine. That's right. Yep. Okay, apply it. It's your turn. You can do it in your workbook and take pictures, or you can do it directly on the Seesaw page. Good luck, firsties.